So in this video, I am going to show you how you can access and connect to another computer that is in another location. And you can do this using a PC or you can use a device, for example, an iPhone or an Android. So if you have family and friends that need some form of technical support on their PC, you can access their computer with their permission. And also you can give permission to someone else to access your computer. So the software that I'm going to use to do this is called Google Chrome Remote Desktop. And this is a free software. So first of all, you want to configure the remote computer that you would like to access and connect to remotely. So you want to go to this site, remotedesktop.google.com. So on the left side, you're going to see remote access. Click on that. You're going to get this menu box. It says set up remote access. So there's a blue icon here. And when you click on that, that will download the Chrome remote desktop software. And also it will add the extension on Google Chrome browser. So I'm going to click on that. Click on add to Chrome. Click add extension. And the file was downloaded. I'm going to click on the up arrow. Click open to install. And it's installing the software. You want to click yes to install and it's installed. Now you want to refresh your browser. I'm going to click the refresh button here. So you're going to get this menu box now. This is to set up remote access. To allow remote access to this computer, you want to click turn on. So I'm going to click turn on. So here is where you choose a name for your remote computer. So I'm going to change this. You can leave it as is or change the name. I'm going to click next. Now here is where you have to enter a six digit pin number. So I'm going to enter a six digit pin number. I'll click start, click yes. So right now it says home computer and it's online. So now my remote computer here is configured. So now I have to go to my other computer, which is my main computer. So I'm logged on into my other computer, which is my main computer. I have to type in remote desktop.google.com, click enter, and I get this page. So I have to click access my computer. So when I do that, I can see my home computer here and it says it's online. So to access my remote computer that is in another location, I just have to click here. I have to type in the PIN number, which is a six digit PIN number. I can also choose here, remember my PIN on this device by selecting this checkbox. I'll click enter here. So now I am logged in into my remote computer and I have full access. I can move around the folder, I can open it. So I have full control of this remote computer. So on the right side, you wanna click on this arrow icon here. So if you want to pin this settings panel here, you can just click on the pin icon. There's an arrow here. So if you don't want this panel on the right side, you can click on this arrow and it goes to the left side. So if you would like to disconnect your connection to your remote computer, you just have to click disconnect. This is also full screen mode. You can click on that and it will enter into full screen mode. I'll click exit full screen. Here are the session options, scale to fit, resize to fit. This is a video codec and there's a drop down tab. There are like three options. The default is VP8. If you use a higher quality, it's gonna take up more resources. I leave it as default. So this is the frame rate. There's a drop down tab and there are four options here. The default is 30. If I choose a higher one, for example, 60, the quality is gonna be better it's going to take up more bandwidth. This is smooth scaling. And here's the input controls. So if you want to send a control all delete, all you have to do is click here and it sends a control all delete. There's also print screen. So if you want a print screen, you can click on this. There's configure key mappings, relative mouse mode on screen input. And here is the data transfer. So you can also upload a file. You can download a file from your remote computer or device to your other computer between the two devices. So there are more things that you can check and read about. So if I want to give someone access to connect to my computer, or if I want to access, uh, for example, a family or a friend computer to help them out. So I'll have to go to the remote desktop.google.com. And on the left side, I have to click remote support. 
if I want to let someone else access and control this computer, I have to download the software. So I'm going to click download, click add to Chrome, add extension, turn on sync. So the file is downloaded. I need to open it and it's installing. Click yes. So I'm going to refresh this browser. I'll click refresh. And now I get this menu box, which says generate code. So I just have to click on generate code and this will generate a passcode. So this is the access code. I just have to copy this and I have to send it to the other person who would like to connect to my computer. And whoever would like support for their computer, when they send me a access code, I just have to paste it here, connect to another computer and click connect and I will connect remotely to their computer. So you can also connect to your remote PC with your iPhone or Android. So for the iPhone, you just need to go to the App Store and download the Chrome Remote Desktop app. So this is the Chrome Remote Desktop app. I'm going to open it. And I can see my remote computer here, home computer. I'll open it. I have to enter the pin. So this is my remote computer. So this is the hamburger icon here. When I click on that, I can see the menu options here. I can show the keyboard. I can click on trackpad mode, disconnect settings. I can move the dock to the left. And if I want a bigger screen, I just have to turn my phone into landscape mode. And this is how it shows in landscape mode. So it's a really simple setup. So I want to thank you for watching. And if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up.